Um, there's 110,000 people in the state of Indiana with Alzheimer's disease right now. And obviously that doesn't include all the people, but family members who are also impacted by the disease. Some of the first FDA approved treatments, we're starting to roll them out. And, and we're sort of some of the first institutions here that are doing that. You know, we have to build those partnerships. If we really all want to succeed, we have to have those partnerships in order to do that. It's kind of fun for me today to actually be in the in ground zero, right in your labs with you where, where the work actually happens. Yes. And it's terrific. Everywhere I go, people talk about um, about the Stark Institute and they talk about the leading role that Indiana University plays in, in neurosciences. And I, I certainly um, have, have met and spoken with you and your colleagues many times. We're very proud of the work that you do. Can you give us an overview of the Paul and Carol Stark Neurosciences Research Institute? The mission is to bring together researchers across the institution, uh, both the School of Medicine but also broader into the university to study diseases of, of neuroscience uh, and bring hopefully ultimately therapeutics forward uh, to treat these diseases. And it's not just one element, so it's not just basic science, it's not just clinical research, it's everything. Um, everything that you can think about caregiving to, you know, yes, basic science, to imaging, to, I mean, again, we have strengths in all of those areas, and that's really what's unique. Well, how does the Institute promote interdisciplinary collaboration and innovation? We have a hundred different investigators first as part of the Institute, uh, and this is both across the School of Medicine, but across, you know, Indi IU, IU Indianapolis, IU Bloomington, you know, across the state, and that really helps provide the sort of the nidus for these, these collaborative activities. So Eli Lilly is here in town and, and our, our neighbor, Roche Diagnostics is another, the Indiana Biosciences Research Institute. So this is something, again, I think that's, that's very intentional and you need to be doing it intentionally in order to have the impact. I also have to confess I've met a number of students that have had a chance to work and pass through the labs across all of IU and their campuses. Uh, and so you know I have a bias toward anything and everything we, we can do for students. So, so thank you for including our students. It's life changing for them to have the opportunity to work in the labs with you guys. Yeah, and we have just outstanding students. Seeing them um, sort of just blossom you know, sort of in front of your eyes. Um, it's just the best thing in the world um, to have that happen. And they're now going on to, to the best labs across the country who are focused in, in neuroscience. So again, that's just an amazing thing. Talk about how it, it contributes uh, to the, the mission of the university in terms of serving the state. I really think about our history. Um, so we are named for Paul Stark, um, who was a pharmacologist. And he actually led the efforts uh, to develop fluoxetine, which we all know as Prozac. And so obviously, major impact, right? Global impact on people's lives. Um, so that's the model that we subscribe to. So to sort of say in these other areas, in Alzheimer's disease, in addiction, in trauma, you know, in, in other areas that are, are of great need, so those are, those are things that we focus on a lot of, how do we ultimately get this more statewide. We launched a small biotech to take some of our new findings, especially related to Alzheimer's research, and, and launch these and hopefully get them into patients, um, which is called Monument Biosciences. And, um, and so those are the kinds of things I think we need to be doing across all areas of, of neuroscience. Thank you so much for, for taking a little bit of, of time to help us understand the, the impact and the role of the, the Stark Neuroscience Research Institute at Indiana University. The work that you guys do is, is tremendous, and we're proud, of course, that you're at Indiana University. We're proud of the work that you do, but, but more importantly, the impact that you're having on people's lives and will have in the future is what Indiana University is all about. So thank you. Thank you. Thank for you so much. Thanks for coming.